Hello, welcome back once again to the Dojo of Dane and the UFC legend Francis Ngannou apparently has another boxing fight coming up and needless to say he did surprise everyone in his last boxing fight especially me I did not think that he would do as good as he did especially seeing his pad work and everything before the boxing fight he wasn't looking that good but it looks like he was hiding his true power because he came out there and fought like an animal and even got a knockdown on Tyson Fury which was extremely surprising considering Tyson Fury is one of the most skilled boxers alive right now so it has been confirmed that he's going to fight Joshua in his next fight he has basically been able to skip the preliminary fighters the lower level fighters and go straight to the top he's definitely not like a Jonas brother Jonas brother <laughs> a Paul brother he's already fighting the big dogs let's see what exactly is going to happen with this fight coming up how much time he has to prepare and let's make some predictions Shit. I'm the one calling the shots uh. I don't get stuck in the box feel like I've been through a lot the UFC champion Francis Ngannou in Saudi Arabia. I like this. Ngannou put Fury on his backside, didn't he, when they boxed last year. Now, a date for the fight is yet to be confirmed. It will be confirmed at a press conference later this month. Joshua had previously revealed plans to face Deontay Wilder until the American was beaten by Joseph Parker last month. Well, the news was confirmed by Joshua's promoter, Eddie Hearn. He also said the fighters would come face-to-face oh, -face oh, oh, in London. Hold up, hold up. He was supposed to fight Deontay Wilder first. Now, that would have been a sick fight. Unfortunately, it looks like it's not going to happen, but Deontay Wilder, Wilder is a power puncher, and so is Francis Ngannou, so it would have been a great power fight. And Deontay Wilder sort of lacks a bit of technical skills, but makes up for it with his extreme power punch. And Francis Ngannou, being a bit of a rookie in the boxing game, he's going to lack some technical skills as well, so... It would have been basically a slug match. Would have been very entertaining. London, a week on Monday, January the 14th. Now the fight will be part of the Riyadh season, a festival in the Saudi Arabian city, which has also included tennis, football, and music events. Now Joshua is in pretty good form. He's won his last three fights, stopping Otto Valin on December the 23rd on the same card that Wilder suffered that upset to Joseph Parker. The former UFC heavyweight champion Ngannou is ranked inside the WBC's top 10 heavyweights, which is pretty ridiculous. He's had one boxing fight, but he did knock down Tyson Fury in his first pro bout last October, although uh, Fury still won a split decision, a controversial one. After that fight, Joshua suggested he would make easier work of Ngannou and win it by knockout. Well, last month, Ngannou hit back at that suggestion. He said even Tyson Fury said the same thing, and Tyson Fury is better than Anthony Joshua. So what do I care about what people say? I've been in this game so long, one fight. I've seen so much. I've heard what people intend to do. There's a difference between wanting to do it and being able to do it. And while neither fighter has directly responded to the announcement, Ngannou posted this on X, making big moves in the new year. 2024 is going to be... And then just those three. Okay, so Joshua says he's going to beat Francis Ngannou by knockout, make easy work of him. That's not going to happen. Joshua does not have anywhere near the power of Tyson Fury. He's not as fast as Tyson Fury. I would say that he's not the most gifted boxer. He's not super fast. He's not super uh, powerful. He's not extreme in any of those senses. What he does have is a very crisp, orthodox technical skills which could take him very far in a fight with Francis Ngannou since considering his low experience in boxing but also he is a fighting mastermind his ability to improve his boxing skills so much so quickly for the Tyson Fury fight it's only a mystery how much he's improved since then considering he's probably been continuously training boxing since the fight I wonder if he's still going to have Mike Tyson in his corner. It looks like Mike Tyson did an amazing job training him. Hopefully he continues to train with Mike Tyson or maybe even expand and train with some more retired boxers that are highly skilled 
and add more tools to his arsenal but it seems like his brain is very adapt to fighting and he may improve immensely even more than the Tyson Fury fight so there is basically no chance that he's going to make easy work of Francis Ngannou I highly 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 doubt that considering Andy Ruiz eating burritos and being obese knocked him out the Andy Ruiz is way better shape now. He's a way better boxer now than he was then. I would actually love to see a fight between Andy Ruiz and Francis Ngannou, but either way, Joshua and Francis Ngannou will be an interesting fight because his technical skills will make him go far. I don't think Francis Ngannou will knock out Joshua. I doubt it, but I do think that he will give him a run for his money and the fight could go either way. Francis Ngannou is not... A normal human let's just keep it like that Francis Ngannou is a genetic outlier he's basically a super saiyan he's not a human he's like the top top genetics that you could possibly have to be a fighter he's he's a beast and he is getting up there in age though which could go against him which could limit how much he can actually improve going forward but he's still in amazing shape, so he might. I still, I still believe there will be a lot of improvement. Plus, the improvement that he needs is on a technical level, which would be on a cerebral level, which really doesn't de doesn't degrade as much with age. More speed and cardio ability to get punched will degrade with age. But he's not that old yet. I'm predicting the fight could go either way, but. I really, really, really would like to see Francis win it. I'm not going to lie. I want to see Francis win it. I want to see him go ahead and surprise the world and keep beating up boxers because the Paul brothers have been beating up UFC fighters, basically making them look bad. But well, not the Paul brothers, just Jake Paul. Logan Paul hasn't done shit. Jake Paul has been beating them up, making them look bad, but he's been picking... Uh, UFC fighters have been retired for a long time old UFC fighters fighters that he knows for a fact that he could beat basically strategically picking his fights not to say Jake Paul isn't highly skilled because he is he has improved his skills a lot over the years but would Jake Paul be able to fight against people at the level Francis is fighting against definitely not Francis versus Jake Paul Francis will put Jake Paul on his ass but let me know what you guys think as far as this fight. Catch you guys next time.